Hello everyone, iOS 16.0.2 has just officially came out, so let's take a look at it on the iPhone 14s. Now, here's the thing, this is a really important update, and if you're coming from an iPhone 14, or if you're coming from any iPhone that's currently on iOS 16, this is the most important update you'll probably find in the next few weeks, in my opinion. Now, if we look at the release notes, funny enough, there's nothing super, like, there's no features or anything added, which is the most important updates ever. Now this update was coming to 345 megabytes. So definitely not the biggest update we've ever seen. It's kind of a small, it's a good size update. You know, if you're coming from iOS 16, you might be used to like that two or three gigabyte update, but this is a really important size. 340 something megabytes, make sure you have this much saved up. Now I'm getting kind of ahead of myself, but right here where it says, this update provides bug fixes and important security updates for your iPhone, including the following. That is the most important, that I was waiting for this update since iOS 16 came out and since this specific iPhone came out because there were so many issues within it. Now the first one actually states, and I haven't seen Apple really kind of, you know, state an issue that they had within their iPhone release notes in a little bit of time to be honest. It usually says address is an issue or whatever, but they never really, you know, the widespread things like Bandgate and stuff, they don't really like talking about that stuff. But here they said, camera may vibrate and cause blurry photos when shooting with some third-party apps on iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now the funny thing is some people did state they may have experienced this within like, you know, the stock camera application. But the weird thing is it says camera may vibrate and cause blurry photos. The blurry photos was the least of their worries. People's cameras seem to be, in my opinion, to kind of look like they were kind of failing in my opinion, it could cause some severe damage to those cameras. So I we will go ahead and hopefully get them in the next few days. People will test this, I will test this. And if this issue persists, then that is going to be a problem. Now they also state, Display may appear completely black during device setup. So that was another issue a ton of people were having, where pretty much they were, I think it was when they were transferring data from their old iPhone to their iPhone 14s. It looks to be that that was causing some issues on some iPhones too. And that has now been addressed by Apple. They also say copy and, now this was a funny thing. <laughs> copy and paste between apps may cause a permission prompt to appear more than expected. So that was something if you were copying from the mail app and you're pasting in like your, I guess like another application like TikTok, you may get a little prompt. I saw some people having that issue, but it looks like it wasn't widespread, at least a crazy amount. And then it says voiceover may be even available after rebooting. But there was another thing at the very bottom. I must I should have scrolled down, but it says addresses an issue where touch input was unresponsive to some iPhone 10s, 10 or and iPhone 11s. So that was another thing that I, I heard a little bit about, not too much, like I didn't think it was a widespread issue. But that touch issue on those screens after being serviced looks like it's fixed now too. So that is a really feature full update in my opinion. I mean, that update in and of itself brought a lot of things to the table. As always, if you want to go ahead and update, you can make your way over to your settings application. You can scroll down and click general. You can click software update and you should be able to update your specific phone this way. I will also state updating to this version of software was much faster than expected. So typically it would be stuck on preparing for update for like 35 minutes. This time was probably like five minutes, not even five minutes, and it was able to, you know, publish the update. Maybe it's because this is the iPhone 14, but that is pretty much this update. If you have an iPhone that's on iOS 16 already, please update. That would probably make the most amount of sense for me. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.